So it's looking like these bedside chats are becoming a thing. But if this is when inspiration hits me, no pump, no circumstance. I'm going to show up and tell you what I got to say. I have a lot of people around me um, who do not believe as I believe. As a matter of fact, they love to tell me that they don't believe and that they found their safe place in being angry or being alcoholics or being depressed. This is their choice and they have the right to do it. And, and they're all different age groups from the 20s to their 40s. And I see them doing these things that I know are not going to produce the life they hope to have. What do I do? Do I stand there and wag my finger and, and, and say, you know, and rail against them? No, I don't do that anymore. When someone steps to me and act like they know what they know and they're going to do it the way they want to do it anyway, I'm just fine. Like, run on, see what the end will be. Because here's what I know. And this is not about being right or wrong. This is just wisdom. Wisdom tells me that we live in a world, this universe is huge. There are things happening behind the scenes that we don't know how they work. We don't know what makes a leaf grow on a tree. And, 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 when, and, and, and here's the thing. We can study the science of things, but you still can't see it happen. We have time-lapse photos. We can now kind of slow down the process of change and watch it but you can't see it with the naked eye you wake up one morning and there's just leaves on the tree you step out one evening and there's snow all over the ground where did the snow originate can you find the actual place where it first formed and then fell and gathered up the moisture it needed to hit the ground and remain on the ground I mean it's just too much to think about we just accept it. We walk out the door and we say, oh, it's a pretty day. Look at the beautiful flowers. Here are the bees. All of those things have an origin. But we're not concerned about it. But when you start talking about the spirit, when you start talking about spiritual things, people be like, I need proof. I need to see something. You got to show me this. We're not parting any seas. We're not walking on any water. What's the necessity of that? So you will have what you need to have faith? So go on with your merry selves. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. Be as belligerent as you think you need to be because you know it all and your way works. Right? You have everything you need so no one can teach you anything. Or come before those who have been out here a little while longer than you in a position of humility and just see what you can learn today because there is no wisdom in being the smartest person in the room you will never advance but every now and then you have to put your prideful self in its place and say I need help I need help I can't do this alone that energy is more important than the dollars in your bank account. Trust me on that. Because there's a lot of rich, ignorant people that I don't want to spend five minutes in the presence of. Their money is not a get out of jail free card for their stupidity. Some real talk. I told you it was going to be a different spirit in me when I came back. I hope you've been listening and understanding that. I'm always telling you to pay attention. Pay attention to what really, really matters. And your platitudes and all of these little things that you like to say when your back is up against the wall do not work in the trenches. You better have some practical advice. Whether you get it from the Bible or some other guru or some other mentor, 
I don't know where you are going to get yours from, but you better get some ours. You better get something in your arsenal, because you, there's, there's a war coming, and it's not a war between the haves and the have-nots. It's a war between the faith and the faithless, and I'm telling you to prepare for it. Listen, if you will, but it's coming. Have a good day. Peace.